Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video day 10. will take us to the 22nd of May and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. May run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB team at the end of the video for the next four weeks and that gets us into the end of the first week of uh, June, I think, today. So uh, I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first, we already say what's our uh, European outlook. So the European outlook is back after a two or three month layoff. Gradually, day by day, week by week, all of the content is uh, coming back. And uh, yes, we've got European outlook back uh, today. So check that one out if you would uh, like to do that. And please like, share, subscribe on the videos. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely uh, Thursday. So I've got to say thank you so much to uh, my good friend Graham, Graham Doolan, uh, for our latest uh, Super Thanks uh, message that's been left with uh, yesterday's uh, video. So uh, YouTube have uh, enabled Super Thanks on our channel. It means that when you leave a comment, you can also uh, give a donation. Uh, the the um, comment will then be highlighted, uh, you know, uh, flagged up by uh, YouTube that uh, you have given this uh, uh, donation to, to Gareth Rovers. And uh, you'll get a mention and a thank you and a mention for the comment in video. So Graham uh, was saying, uh, thanks Gareth for what you did for us, whether it's your passion and it is reflected through your videos. Happy to see both yourself and Mr. P are feeling much better. Thank you so much, Graham. That is incredibly kind. Uh, comment. Thank you so much, my friend, for the lovely comment. And yeah, you know, uh, we're getting everything back on track. And, uh, and, and and we're doing well. So thank you so much, my friend. Thank you so much uh, for, for the lovely comment. And also for your uh, super thanks, too. If you would like to uh, give a super thanks uh, to uh, Gaz Rabbits and uh, have your uh, message uh, highlighted, you know, and and, uh, and get a mention in videos, all you need to do is click the thanks button here underneath all of the videos on the uh, YouTube channel. And, uh, and then you can give a uh, donation, uh, and then uh, we will, uh, you know, give you a shout-out in the video. So thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Thank you for all of the lovely messages, all of the lovely support. And as I keep saying, it's all coming back, and by June, we'll have the live streams and the long range back as well. So, um, so yeah, just, just keep an eye on the channel, and gradually the content will increase over the uh, next few days, weeks, and by June. It should all be back. That's the plan, anyway. Fingers crossed. Right, okay, so we're going to start the video uh, now then. We're going to begin by having a look at sexual intention. The CT is currently standing at 12.8. That is 2.5 degrees above the 61.99 average per visual to the 11th of May. It keeps going up, doesn't it? So uh, I don't think it's going to be long now before this gets into the 13th. It's going to be a very, very uh, warm May indeed. Uh, following on, of course, from a very mild March. And a mild April as well. This is turning into a prolonged spell of, of above average uh, weather. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. The next couple of weeks we're going to Edinburgh today. So red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average for Edinburgh. You see that we're a little bit below average uh, at the moment, to be honest with you. The upper air temperature in the north, anyway. But they're on an increasing trend over the next... A uh, week or so, going to peak sometime around the middle of next week when they're, um, you know, become really quite warm. Do you remember that's Edinburgh? So that's up in Scotland. It'll be warmer than that further uh, south with this southerly flow. I mean, just generally saying above average then, right way through into the third and final week of uh, May as well, to be honest. So it almost goes up to month same now, uh, up to the 28th of May. Still looking above average with those upper air temperatures then. It looks like you get more unsettled though. So, um, you know, we're starting off with some precipitation around the moment. Not all that much though uh, for the next few days. But uh, particularly to go on into next week, I think we will see uh, the weather becoming more and more unsettled. So, uh, with time, yes, I think we'll see heavy showers, longer swells of rain, possibly even thunder as well, and that's particularly so for more southern areas, given the increase in, in temperature and also the increase in humidity that uh, that's coming up. So becoming volatile, warm but volatile, I think is the message uh, through the course of, uh, of, of next week. Temperature anomalies from the 12th to the 20th of May going to be above average in most parts of uh, Central and Western and also Northern Europe, UK and Ireland is included in that. 
uh, mean precipitation anomaly from the 12th to 20th of May is going to be driving out from more eastern areas, a little bit wetter average in more western areas. I would expect these anomaly maps to trend wetter over the uh, next uh, few days. We shall keep an eye on them and see if they do. The latest wind flow map from EarthNoSchool.net shows up bringing a westerly flow uh, today. Westerly wind coming in from off the Atlantic Ocean with high pressure to the south and low pressure to the north. Right, we'll start going through the chart data then. This is how the UK bet euro is looking at weather outlook for midnight on Sunday. Um, so we're in a sort of slack southerly south easy flow. Looks like there's a little bit of a fungi trough over France as well. That might trigger some fungi showers, particularly for England and Wales uh, on Sunday. Heading into the early part of next week, that high pressure shifts northwards up towards uh, the Norwegian Sea and we draw in an even warmer sort of southerly type flow through the early to middle part of next week. That could well lift the temperatures into the mid to upper 20s Celsius down across the south and southeast. So actually becoming quite hot in that southeastern core, I think, through the middle of next week. Uh, by the time you get through to 168 hours, which is a week away, midnight on Thursday, just looks as though lower pressure begins to start breaking in from off the Atlantic as the high pressure begins to slip more towards eastern parts of Europe. That might include a fungi breakdown. We'll have to wait and see until closer to the time frame, of course. Icon is looking like this. Again, uh, we've got a little bit of a trough down to our south. That might trigger some fungi showers. Across more southern areas on uh, Sunday, then that trough gradually begins to push a little bit further northeast or through into Monday. We've got a deep area of low pressure out to southwest of Ireland uh, through Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, that could bring some gale force winds up the western side, so certainly not as warm as uh, settled through the early to middle part of next week. Um, with Icon as the UK map is showing the southeast corner, probably get some relatively warm and dry weather, but otherwise rather wet and windy actually through northern and western areas. That's how ICON ends up, gets us to midday on Thursday. We today, low pressure again uh, to our uh, northwest, some uh, higher pressure, trying to build across the southeast, but never truly building. So, um, quite a significant difference between the UK Met and ICON. And these ones are normally quite close to your line, but for next week they are significantly different. And again, it highlights the uncertainty. We talked about this in yesterday's video. Highlights the uncertainty about next week, just how much when it settled down, how warm will it get? Will it turn into quite a wet week, actually? Could do, uh, particularly for more northern and western areas. And, you know, will there be thunder around as well? It's still to play for, would you believe it? Still all to play for um, for, uh, for, for, uh, for next week. So let's just wait and see how that plays out. Uh, Jeff has midnight run, again, showing this trough of low pressure across France, gradually trying to push northwards as we go through, and so that might trigger some funny showers down in the south. There's that trough um, in across Ireland, England and Wales, uh, midnight on Monday, the high pressure of uh, uh, pushing uh, further northeast was up towards uh, Norway. Uh, Tuesday again, high pressure to our northeast, low pressure to our west. Gale force winds running up the western side of uh, Ireland through the middle part of next week. But we are drawing in what looks to be a very warm but probably quite unstable southerly to southeasterly uh, type flow. Might trigger some heavy showers and some flows also warm but uh, unsettled probably through the um, middle part of next week. And then as we move up towards day 10, uh, we find this trough developing across sort of northern France, low country that might bring more fungi, showery weather into south and southeast before day 10 itself starts to introduce a cooler sort of northwesterly type flow. Many more at same range, um, the Jeffers Midnight Run pulls the high pressure out into the Atlantic and pulls in a much cooler and rather showery northwesterly to northerly wind, actually, with low pressure sitting in the North Sea, high pressure in the Atlantic, we completely change wind direction, we lose the southerlies, and we turn them uh, to northerlies, and so the final week of May, with GFS Midnight Run, actually goes very cool and unsettled. I'm not sure about that at all. GFS 6Z, uh, again, looks like this, so once more, Bit of a trough into the south and southwest on Sunday. That might trigger some heavy showers and downpours on Sunday as it pushes northeast was across Ireland, England, and Wales, Scotland. Probably mainly dry. Uh, through the middle part of next week, um, look at this. Yeah, but since they turned wet and windy, so definitely, <laughs> definitely no very warm spell doing there. 
three middle part next week. What we actually have is a, like a very strong uh, west southwest wind and low pressure bringing heavy outbreaks of rain. Again, it's so uncertain what's happening through the middle part of uh, next week. It will have to resolve itself soon. Um, but uh, today, model output might have shifted more towards turning unsettled actually, uh, next week. And not overly warm, despite the push-up in upper air temperatures. There will be quite a bit of cloud and rain about. Uh, second half of next week looks like that. So we go rather flat and westerly uh, then. And then up to day 10, uh, high pressure to our southwest, low pressure to the north, and bringing in these uh, showery westerly winds. Even more acceleration of a 6 there. Again, just rather unsettled. Uh, just looks rather unsettled with low pressure coast from country to our east, pulling in a rather cool and chilly northerly wind there through the last week of May. High pressure in the middle of the Atlantic, low pressure in the North Sea, winds in from a north or northeast direction. So taking much cooler and much more unsettled through the last week of May with the GFS 6 there uh, as well. You have to say there's a bit of a trend within the GFS uh, operational output at the moment for, for things to turn cooler and more unsettled. But I think you've got to you know, focus on next week before anything else because... Um, there is a lot of uncertainty. This is the five-day accumulated citation uh, prediction from um, uh, the weather outlook uh, based on the GFS 6 Zebra. So you see there will be precipitation around in the next five days, particularly for like the Midlands, parts of Wales, Northern England, and up into west and southwest of Scotland. There will still be dry air, particularly in this far southeastern corner, east and southeast England. We're still struggling to get rain through there as we are across northeastern parts of Scotland. The Northern Ireland doesn't look that wet either, perhaps a little bit surprisingly. I think a lot of this precipitation, um, you know, it's being forecast like the Midlands is probably down to heavy showers and, and maybe even thunderstorms in the next five days. And then the 10 day uh, accumulated precipitation forecast and weather outlook looks like that. So it's still relatively dry in that far southeast corner in the next 10 days, only like um, 9 to 12 millimetres being predicted there in the far southeast corner. However, most areas do look uh, a lot more unsettled in the next 10 days um, with precipitation generally between around 50 to 100 millimetres through Wales and Midlands, Northern England and uh, also into Scotland as well. Wettest areas are uh, for western, southwestern Scotland, northwestern parts of uh, England too. So we just going to wait and see just how unsettled it turns, but it does look as though there will be some useful rainfall around through most parts of the country, but far south, southeastern corner is struggling a little bit to get uh, precipitation. GM is looking like this. Uh, so again, if you enjoyed the video, by the way, please do smash the like button. Make sure you sub to the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment. Uh, let us know about this on all of our videos. Don't forget to tell your friends and family to subscribe too. We are on the grind to uh, 14k subscribers, but our next mini target is... Uh, 13,400 subscribers. So please, can you uh, subscribe? And thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. Right, the GM again brings up this little fungy chop house as we go through into Sunday. Increased risk of showers then. Uh, through to the early part of the next week, high pressure retreats towards the Norwegian Sea. Um, and we're pulling like this warm to very warm southerly southeast. You have high pressure to our east, low pressure out to our west. In the middle part of next week, and then the low pressure breaks through through the second half of next week, could bring thunder with it, and, uh, you know, turns these more unsettled. But, so look at day 10, um, low pressure in the Atlantic, looks like it's going to bring some wet and windy weather into the north and into the west. And then, lastly, the ECM looks like this, where, again, with this trough coming up from the south, could trigger some heavy showers, maybe a bit of thunder on Sunday into Monday, as this feature moves northeast. Well, Scotland, though, probably has a main dry we can. And then into the early spring part of next week, winds in from the south, high pressure to the east, low pressure to the west, southerly winds, bringing up warm air from the south. But again, that might uh, trigger volatility, so you could have some heavy showers, maybe in some further storms through the middle to the latter part, latter part of next week. And by day 10, I've got a nice ridge going in the south with low pressure out to the northwest. So there's so many options here, uh, you know, for next week. Uh, very, very uncertain at the moment exactly what's happening. Uh, next week. How unsettled will it get? How warm will it get? It's still all to be revealed. This will be precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. Rain, particularly in the north and west over the next few days, mainly driving south and southeast. These are the heavy showers that could be triggered uh, on Sunday across parts of England and Wales. There might be some 
downpours coming through them. Into up up next week, more sort of wet travel coming up from the southwest again. That could be longer spells of rain, might include some thunder mixing too. Uh, and then very well up the western side through the middle part of next week, heavy showers and thunderstorms trundling up west side. Not that much in the way of rain though over on the eastern side of the country, although scattered thunderstorms are suggested there in around a week or so's time. And then up to date, camping starts to turn a little bit dry as we build that ridge up from the uh, southwest that we see here on the uh, ECM operational run. Right, these are the options on the table. Vimy ECM on Solomon today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 22nd of May. 18 members of ECM on, uh, on Solomon, including the control run, have high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north, winds coming in from west. That's bringing relatively unsettled weather, weather particularly to more northern areas. 12 have high pressure raising up a little bit more strongly from the southwest. Um, nine, uh, including the operational run, having an even stronger ridge from the southwest at day 10. Uh, another nine here with high pressure to the south and weaker pressure weight to the northwest, winds in from the west direction. And then three uh, trying to hang on to the high pressure around Iceland and in the Norwegian Sea. A lot of options on the table there. Don't look as though high pressure will be attempting to ridge up though at day 10 from the southwest. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to the 27th of May. 19 members of the ECM ensembles. One nine will have high pressure to our west, low pressure to our northeast. Not overly unsettled, but a little bit on the cool side with that. Winds coming in from a northwesterly direction. 18 have high pressure set centres over the country, more or less, with a mid Atlantic ridge. That's going to be cool and uh, quite wet. Actually, that's in line with like what the GFS midnight and operational runs are doing through the last week of May. So 18 members of the ECM are so going with the GFS operationals. And then 14, though, have high pressure centred over the top of the country and going up towards Scandinavia. Obviously, the driest and warmest option will be bringing in winds from the east to south direction uh, with that. So it's all going to be re revealed, you know, what happens as we get into the uh, last week of the month. It may turn cooler and more unsettled with northern winds, but I wouldn't be, you know, uh, putting too much money on that happening. And then finally, we've got the CFS v These are 500 millibar height anomalies broken down into a week period. So the first week period will take us from the 12th to the 18th of May. The coming week has high pressure to our south southwest, low pressure to our north northwest. Um, so that brings the driest weather into more southern areas. Into week two, which is the 19th to 25th of May, uh, above average height centre right over top of the Also dry and fine weather. Not really showing this fungy, um, unsettled weather next week, is it, CFS, uh, at the moment. So CFS is much more, uh, you know, much stronger with high pressure, interestingly. Uh, week three, also quite anti cyclone This is 26th of May to 1st of June. Above average heights again, more or less in over top of the country. And then finally, week four will be the 2nd to the 8th of June. A high pressure then to Sitzel, Germany. Lower pressure out to the northwest, but probably still a lot of dry weather with that, uh, especially in the south and east. And could be quite warm as well with winds in from a southwesterly to southerly direction. However, as that's four weeks away, it's very uncertain. As we've already established, there's so much uncertainty for next week. I don't think, really, we should be looking beyond that, to be honest. OK, if you enjoyed the video, please can you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you've got this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends and family to subscribe as well. It's amazing, it's incredible. Thank you so much, everyone, um, for doing that for us and we are done uh with today's video so um that's it then i hope you enjoyed it if you have then please can you hit like and uh let us know what you let, let, let us know what you think you know and uh, make sure to sub to the channel too thank you so much right tomorrow we'll have jma friday a 10 to 14 day out, and we may well include the ec uh 42 day uh six weeks uh look at as well so uh, that's another returning feature potentially tomorrow we'll see about that but uh, definitely Jamie May Friday and 10 to 14 day or two. So, um, you enjoy the rest of your Thursday. We'll be back tomorrow with more content. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.